right, we planned this room and we decided that um, the best place to start is around one of the windows. And <clears throat> the piece of paper on this side is going to come there. And the problem with there being that when we cut here, it's going to be a bit moving there. So instead of putting that piece up first, I'm going to put this piece up first because that will give me a continual nice straight edge to paper to with the piece going around the window. Um, otherwise we could get a little bit of movement underneath the window edge and it could cause the bottom part not to be straight. So we've already done our plumb line. Now I'm going to start with the first piece just to the left of the window. Again, exactly the same as before. Put about six inches of it onto the wall and then slide it into place next to your plumb line. So again, we've got three marks here, one there, one there, and one there. So we must then you must be able to see them. And again, we just go up and down. In the wall here, we've got a screw. I'm just going to cut where the picture goes, and we just push that through. Come to our, just get my straight edge socket again. I've marked the corner there and I think that I'll just start the little cut there. first piece. <coughs> Take that second piece. Nice butt joint. Right, now we've got the window edge. And obviously we don't want to cut all this piece off, so what we're going to do, we're going to get our pencil, use the bottom of the window edge as a guide with your fingers, and mark it, just pull your pencil along there, marking in the middle of the window edge. See where the end is, come about half inch from the end and then we're going to cut up to the corner and down to that corner. Just use your finger for feeling where it is. Push that against the wall and that goes around the corner. Do your butt joint all the way down. Come up there, you've just got a, got a little nip there. And that'll go around there. Same under there.
Now we've got this piece here. Obviously we're going to go around the corner. So the first thing I'm going to do is cut up to the corner there. So that, that piece would go around just nicely. Now, <clears throat> we're going to go right around the corner up to the window frame. But if I have this too long, I'm going to get paste all over the window. So I'm going to measure the reveal, see how wide it is. Right, that's eight inches. So we're going to cut that off at about nine inches. And just through the middle of that pattern there. I've got a line to follow, so I've no need to mark it all up. I'm just going to go through that pattern there and just push my scissor, scissors up through the middle of that pattern. If you've got no pattern on your paper, you need to mark it in a few places and then just follow the line. And then this piece up here, we're just going to get like that and tear it off. Now when you're doing a window reveal, you can't wrap this piece of paper round that way and round that way. It'll only go one way. So we're going to wrap it round this window reveal. It's the only way you can do it. But first of all, you need to cut it. Now I'm going to cut it with a knife. I'm going to find where my corner is. Now it's easy finding it here because I've got the window, the light of the window coming in and we've got a shadow where the wall is. So I'm just going to get my knife just on that corner there and then just come up about an inch and cut that through there. Then we can just push that round the corner. Now the way we're going to push it round is with our brush, start in the middle and wrap it round. Wrap it round nice and tight. All the way down. There, so we're going to cut along that ledge. Right, so we can cut that piece off separate to that piece. Also got a bit of a ledge along the bottom. So I'm going to cut into the corner here. First thing I'm going to do is get the pencil and mark this piece here that's underneath because we need this piece to go round the corner just slightly so it's only half the width of the pencil so I'm going to put my pencil flat on this wall and mark that there. Now I'm going to get my straight edge, I'm going to cut the first piece there. then go underneath it and we're going to cut all the way down there. I'm going to stop there because the blade's getting blunt and I'm going to snap a piece off. I showed you before. Start again. Now 
Now they're going to come up from the bottom, obviously we can't go right down to the bottom. Along the bottom here. But then I'm just going to mark with my pencil. Pull that up, cut that little bit off. Pull that away, cut that little bit off. It's come away. piece here, I mark with my pencil, I'm just going to cut to the right of the pencil line so that we just got a little bit of overlap so that when we come round with our top piece we're not going to have a gap there. Right now we've finished this piece, the next piece we're going to hang is this and then we take that off and then sort that piece out. Now I've got another piece, exactly the same size as that. And we need now to sort this out. So the way we're going to do it, first of all we're going to come in around about a centimetre from the edge of the window reveal. And there's a nice little pattern there I can follow, so I'll just get the knife, come down straight with that and lift that off. Let's pull all the paint off. Measure a piece of paper. Put it up there to measure it. And mark it about a centimetre to the left of the window reveal. Got another pattern there we can follow to cut that off. joint there and we've got two places now where we can match the pattern we've got it there and we've also got it there so you can see whether it's straight whether the pattern's matching there and there Now we're going to find where our corner is and again you can see it through the light coming through the window but also if you just press it slightly there you can see where the fold is. Right, let's just 
go around there nicely. Here to get the brush. Wrap it around nice and tight. Make sure it's matching as it's going around the corner. Push it right up into the corner. What we can do there is just put a little cut in there to release it slightly and it makes it easier going around the corner. Now this piece that's going to be an overlap, make sure it's pushed right nice and tight into the corner and get your pencil and don't mark into the corner like that have your pencil at that angle and that will mark it on the bottom when you pull that down you can just cut that line off really close to it cut that line off Then you push that back, you won't see any gap then, you've got a nice point. Now we've got this bit here, so what we're going to do, we're going to splice this. And what I'm going to do first of all, I'm going to get my knife and just do a very slight cut there. I'm also going to change the blade, because I want this to be nice and sharp. So Break that blade off. We're now going through two pieces of paper. So I'm going to put my straight edge there, level with the end of the little cut I've got there. Get your knife and come down carefully between over two pieces of paper. Come down carefully to that line. that piece off lift the paper up and underneath you find the other piece of paper and we just get hold of that and slip it out of there run your finger down that and if you've done that properly you can't see the joint so that's the way the window reveal you've got your piece in the middle you've also got your piece in the middle down the bottom so the next full piece you hang will be next to it and you copy exactly the same procedure as you have on this piece here it's exactly the same as you've done it there making sure that when you hang that piece you look down and the edge of the paper lines up with the edge of the paper down here and then you should have, as long as you've hung all your paper straight, you've put a plumb line on and you've, and you've plumbed it straight, then you shouldn't have any problems with the matting at the top and bottom on that last piece. in the corner I'm going to show you here how to go around plug socket and also how to go around the corner with one piece of paper again just put about six inches onto the wall find out where your pattern is and just slide it into place Sure. 
Go down it with your fingers, make sure you've got no lumps. And push it into the corner. because I've got to pull the bottom part away. So I'm just going to cut off that top bit. Don't put the corner of your straight edge right into the corner. You'll tear the paper. First of all, the corner's probably not going to be straight. So when you come along this wall with the paper, you'll find that if it's not exactly straight, then you're going to start going out with a pattern at the top of the bottom, it's going to be at a slant. Um, secondly, um, if you're paper hanging in a very old building, timber frame building, uh, Victorian house, there's always a lot of movement in the walls. So you'll find that if you actually go round the corner, later on when it's all dry, the house is moving, if it moves slightly, you're going to get ripples in the paper. Okay, so you never go round an internal corner. Come down here. Now we've got our plug here. Um, normally what I would do is find where the corner is, if this was completely covered, I'd find where the corner is, put my knife there, pull it away so you don't scratch the plug, and then we can go up to that corner, if you press on the corner, you'll find you get an indentation and just go down like that okay on this particular occasion we can go like that and expose the plug again making sure every part of it is matched come down with your brush and also come down with the side of your plug socket and then along there Again, making sure that this is perfectly matched. <coughs> and what, <coughs> what we're going to do there is just tuck that in there. And then with your scissors, just go along the edge there. So you've got that little bit of overlap. Again, down there, come down the side, so you've got the overlap, and 
bottom, push it up to the plug, and then go along there. Then you can pull the top part away slightly. Generally, you can, if you get it away enough, you can just pop it in through your fingers, but you can also push it in with your brush. Just got to be enough to go behind the plug. All I'm doing is just pushing it in there with my fingers. There you go, perfect. Now, we'll make sure that's pushed right into the corner. It's got to be really tight into the corner. Come down here, and again, get a straight edge, and just make sure that's nice and tight. Cut the bottom off. Go up to the corner there and then pull that away and just cut the rest of that little bit off. Nice and tight. We'll see why in a minute. 